I'm finishing this project and I have already told the machine to start stitching and you can see I have the crosshair is here right at the beginning of the first repeat in this last row. What I noticed that I hadn't noticed before in any versions is the fact that I'm going to go ahead and start quilting, press the lower right button there, continue. So I'm going to tie off. Here's what's going to happen is the crosshair is going to stay at this start point until it gets to the start point of this next repeat right there. So I'm going to pause the recording, leave it paused until I get over to this last flower in this first repeat. Then I'll turn on the recording and we'll see what happens whenever it gets there. You can see that the crosshair jump to the start point of the second repeat will stay there until it gets to the next repeat. The crosshair moves to the start point of the next repeat all the way across the row and uh, this is okay. I just hadn't noticed it ever doing that before. So the, I'm almost at the end of this row, the last row in this quilt. Now I actually started this quilt in CS6, I quilted four rows. Then I needed to finish the quilt. So I thought, well, I'll test it in 7.1 to see if I can set it up properly, finish the quilt, and it seems to be working. When it reached the end of this last repeat in that row, the crosshair jumped to the end point of the last repeat in the row. So I guess that's something new. I'll just hit continue and that will end that. And I'm going to do a restart. Restart quilting. Maybe I need to restart right at this point where the machine head is. And I'll click select. And now it's ready to start quilting at that point. I can either just click quilt or I can click use this point. Notice that it toggled that last repeat as unsewn and it was ready to start quilting right at that point. So that, that works out.